Welcome back to another episode, Speed Industries Vlog, live from the shop. No, it's not quite live, but I uh, would like to show you the progress we're doing on some of the cars, so you get a, get some more behind the scene what's going on during the off season, um, and get an idea what's what's happening here with all the cars. All right, so as you heard, the PS13, uh, it had a fire in the engine bay so uh, at this point we stripped it down um, we do have some plans for it but it's kind of on the back burner since we still have to, like first have to generate some budget for this car um, because it it really wasn't on my schedule or my plans for this season as it was a rock solid car besides the fire but yeah it is what it is so we're gonna redo it as you can see we took it apart like the engine bay is completely empty we ripped everything out on the inside ripped most of the stuff out this also will come out as soon as it goes to the fabricator but we want to keep the steering intact to move it around uh, not much happening on the rear we just took the over fenders off as you can see it's still the stock sheet metal but I never bothered to taking it uh, taking it off or cutting it out. Trunk, as you can see, it's all kind of stock. Um, yeah, so we'll see. At this point, we don't have that many plans for the rear. We want to clean up the sides, uh, cut these out, make them fresh again, um, seal everything up to the inside. Um, on the inside, it's okay. We'll. We want to add some more bracing to the cage, like attach the cage to the front towers and then have a bar going through here instead of this ugly one, the stock one. Then have, have the steering column attached to, to the new one. In the front uh, we cut out the tops here, we cut these out since all the wiring is fucked anyway and we'll have to redo that, redo that anyway. So we cut this out and this. Um, today we pulled out the front glass, as you can see over there. Pulled out all the pedals. Yeah, so we're getting there. Um, we have to clean it up once again, as there's still, as you can see, stuff from the fire extinguishers in here. I want to clean it out again before we bring it to the fabricator. Yeah. Um, I also started cleaning the engine uh, slightly. I took off the turbo, so right here it's here in the pallet. It has to go up into the engine room. Um, I have to get a new cover for it. I think the engine should be okay. Uh, the turbo should be okay. It will need new lines. All the wiring is fucked. I I advise on. Especially all on the hot side, on new gaskets, the the timing, the VTC timing thingy. I'll, we'll need a new one. I'll have some of those up the, upstairs. Some um, yeah, new lines on this side. Yeah, but I think the engine is fine. Uh, special one to me. Uh, I had this car. It just popped up on Facebook 13 years ago. We were in Ibisu circuit. Drifting this car, uh, banked it up on the snow as it was. Uh, there was a lot of snow, but they clean, uh, cleared out um, one track for us, and we had lots of fun there. Yeah, it was good times. Um, I think I'm not 100% sure right now. I think this engine is going to be for sale. The setup um, was a solid one. We just had uh, got the. ECU back from Link, New Zealand. They ran over it uh, to see it's still okay. Uh, sealed it up again, so it should all be good, ready to go. So we got the ECU, the whole engine, transmission, clutch, uh, turbo, and all that si all that stuff. Um, if you're looking for a really solid SR, this might be the one for you. Although I'm not quite sure if I want to sell it, it's yeah. There's a lot of memories attached to it, 
but I guess we have to turn the page on this car and go a slightly different route engine wise yeah we'll see we'll see um, funny thing is here you can see still see Japanese riding on it at some point when they were working on the car they just written some stuff on it I don't know what it is maybe you know what it means uh, I don't know yeah so yeah that's the plan for the PS but yeah we'll have to do that all on the on the back burner a little bit and see how we get along uh, budget wise for that car as there is also other cars which will need some love and speaking of uh, I'm just getting the Chase ZX kind of ready for this season I just did all the fluids uh, I did the diff oil transmission oil is fresh um, I drained the engine oil and the water and the power steering oil I drained all that stuff uh, since we need to do some work on the front uh, there's a new oil filter in there already although there's no engine oil as you can see the front is off um, yeah we just gave, gave fresh paint uh, fresh some fresh paint to the front crash bar yeah so it's uh, small stuff here and there um, but yeah I want, um, we're still redoing the cooling side uh, the oil cooler needs to move somewhere else um, it wasn't in a in the perfect spot at this point so we want to try something else for this season and see if we get the temperatures down a little bit so yeah but all in all uh, still solid gearbox still super nice the g-force as you can see the carbon drive shaft diff axles that's all stock uh, we have a fresh reinforced subframe for this but that's not on top of the list at this point um so i first want to get all the other stuff done to it before we switch out the subframe just so we don't run into any time issues yeah so this car should go to the fabricate cage dude next week i'll drop it off uh, go over some things with him some things uh, i want to get done on it yeah so he'll he'll have he ha will have his hands on it firstly and then we'll get it back and we finish it off for the first race early april um yeah that's the first outing for the Chase ZX this season, I guess. Uh, we're going to be at the Nürburgring Drift Cup on the 1st and 2nd of April. If you are there too, make sure to drop by. Um, yeah, hope to see most of you out there. Um, if you don't planning on doing it, you better do now. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the update. Um, other than this, so I'll have, still have to order some stuff to get the Chase ZX ready, uh, get some tires, um, get some um, stock back up on fluids, spare parts, yeah. But should be mostly good. Uh, currently ordering uh, for the some dash lines uh, for the power steering system and the oil system. I want to redo that stuff. Uh, I got a new. Uh, power steering cooler we'll see where we're gonna mount that one yeah but all in all should be good um yeah so about the engine in the ps let us know what you suggest um if you'd say there's a slight just a very slight chance we're gonna stay with sr um but if you think sr the, the engine of the gods should stay in there drop it in the comments if you think we should go jz v8 rb uh b58 i don't know whatever whatever it is drop it in there we're looking forward to your comments as always uh, make sure to subscribe and like this video and i hope to see you soon bye bye